Good evening, everyone. I just got back from a ride outside in the dark, and one of the things I've been getting questions on is what kind of lights do I use? So tonight, I'm gonna to show you my assortment of lights that Tina and I use and how we use them. So first of all, uh, I've got three sets of lights. I've got one on my helmet, one on this, and one here. And we attach them in several different ways. This particular one, you can actually attach on your handlebars. It'll go around your handlebars and hold in place, and then you can attach a battery to it. This one is a Velcro strap that you can strap to your helmet. It's portable, you can uh, strap it to anybody's helmet. Uh, and so if a friend is short, you can bring this and they can use it as a spare. Also, we have this one, which I've put Velcro on the bottom. And on Tina's helmet, we've got a Velcro strap. And so we can attach the strap there and it'll hold the light uh, perfectly for her. So how these work is each of the lights have a little rubber strap. Hopefully you can see that. And the strap will go through, through the attachment. We'll put it through here. I'll try and zoom in uh, when I do post-production. This is an older one. I've had this particular light uh, probably seven years. Uh, once you've got it through, it just clips on. And now the light will actually rotate up and down based on how it's sitting on your helmet. Okay. So now I can just stick it on her helmet. It's on the helmet and I can rotate it up so she can see where she's going. Each of the lights that we use range anywhere from 800 to 1000 lumens and uh, that's been pretty much all I use. Tina will use one on her helmet and on the trails now she starts using one on her handlebars so she'll have two lights on her bike just to give her extra light. For me, it's a personal preference. I don't need that much light. If I'm riding with multiple people, I tend to be the one in front uh, leading the trails. That's the Sherpa. <laughs> and so I've got the ambient light coming from the people behind me, which helps me so I don't have to have multiple lights. Uh, as far as batteries go, uh, well, let me go back. So each of the lights has the same connector. They're different models, but they are the same connectors. So they're interchangeable with the batteries we use. As far as batteries go, I've got two four cell batteries. This is a four cell battery and you can strap it to your, uh, to your bike and hook your light up to it. This is another four cell battery. This is an older one. Uh, these will last four to six hours for me out on the trails. I typically will bring one when I have one of these. When I first started, I would actually strap this one to my helmet, <laughs> to the back of my helmet. Uh, so I didn't have to have cords running everywhere. Uh, currently on my helmet, I have a two cell battery strapped. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but it's a two cell battery. This one will last me anywhere from two to three hours when I'm out on the trails. Typically I'll run at my lowest setting. Uh, but yeah, that'll run me two to three hours. All right, so the lights themselves all of the lights have three different settings of brightness and they all have a blinking mode. So at the brightest, it's about 800 to 1000 lumens and then it steps down a little bit from each there. Uh, the lower you run your brightness, obviously, the longer your battery will last. Now you can see on mine, I've got it configured. I've got the battery pack on it. I've got the light on it. I've got the GoPro mount. The nice part about this setup, when I put the GoPro on here, it actually sits above the light and wherever I aim my light or the GoPro, it lights up for me so I can, it works really well. Uh, one thing I recommend doing so you don't have wires flopping everywhere is you can see I've thread the wiring through the openings in the helmet and then back to the battery. So I have minimal wires flopping around. Okay. Now when Tina rides, she doesn't like to have a lot of weight on her helmet, so we'll put the adjustable one on here like that. I'll thread the wiring through her helmet so it comes out the back. And most helmets have an opening in the back, so when you thread through, have it come out the back. 
Otherwise, the, the wire can get off to the side, and as you turn the head, it can hook up on your shoulders. So I have it come straight out the back. And then we have an extension cable for the light, which we plug then plug into it. And then I'll plug in a four cell battery. So she's got unlimited power. It'll last her a long time, probably longer than when she can ride. And then we have a handy dandy fanny pack for her. <laughs> So we stick it in the fanny pack. She wears it around her waist. Uh, it takes all the weight off her head. It's nice and flexible, and nice and light on her head so she doesn't have to have a lot of weight up there. Uh, and she likes it. So I'm also gonna insert a video tonight when we rode, uh, the three different light settings that you can see how bright the light is and how well it works at night. All right, everybody, that's Tina ahead of me with just her light on. My light has four settings. The first setting is the brightest. That's the brightest. The next setting is the a little bit softer. Third setting, which I normally use when I'm riding, is softer yet. And then there's the fun disco setting, where all I have to do is this, Woo! disco. And then of course there's the button that goes off. So. Riding at night on the Prairie Path Trail. I can actually ride with all my light on and follow Tina. There's nothing on the trail technical. I'm also gonna insert some other segments where we roll the trails and you can see how the lights uh, work in conjunction with other people. All right, so those are the lights I use. The, uh, I believe the model of light that I'm using is Magic Shine. And again, I just use the one. Uh, some people will have two on their handlebars and one on their helmet. It's a personal preference, uh, depending on how much light you like. Uh, but when you're riding at night also, your eyes tend to water when you're in the cold weather. So I wear clear glasses to help my eyes from watering while I'm riding because <laughs> when you're riding at night and it's dark out uh, and you have limited light and your eyes start to water, uh, the trail starts to disappear. So uh, be aware of that also, that's a heads up for you. And if you have any questions about my gear, my setup, recommendations, uh, leave them down in the comment. Don't forget to like the channel, subscribe. Uh, I have a lot more videos that I've got to edit yet to post, and I think you'll enjoy the ones I've got already posted. Uh, for Christmas, I'm gonna post a Christmas video. Tina and I did a bike ride through the local uh, Christmas lights. They were fantastic this year. And biking through those Christmas lights was the way to go. The cars took about an hour to get through. We rode along, we could stop, get out, uh, get off our bikes, walk up to the displays and check them out. Uh, so be watching for that one. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy my channel. Oh, you got this hill figured out. No, I went off that drop, Josh. I went off that drop and I, I don't think I pulled up enough. So I landed front heavy. Is that Josh behind me? Josh, is that you behind me? Oh, where's Josh? Oh, is everyone coming out now? Yeah, go ahead. All right. How's Tina doing back there? Yep. I 
I'm gonna pull over up here and see where Tina's at. As soon as we get clear, yeah.